Have you ever wanted to just know what to do? Like the rules of the game, so you felt you had a chance of winning in this game of life? Carol Davis can be your virtual navigator as she has traveled around the world and been at the lowest of lows. From living in a beautiful home to being a full-time resident on a park bench to a life that is full and rich and giving and peaceful. Join Carol, a published author, teacher, and in-demand public speaker. Welcome to The Carol Davis Show. Hi, welcome to The Carol Davis Show, and I, of course, am Carol Davis. And uh, this is my first show, and so I'm pretty excited to um, have you here. And you might be asking, at least I'm asking, why the heck am I doing this? Okay, so I'm going to tell you why I'm doing this show, because... I want to talk to you about a little bit about my life and what motivated me to do a podcast. Uh, my life's been an exciting life. I'm the author of Changeless Change, which gives you a little bit of insight into my life. And so I've traveled since the day I was born. Actually, since the day of conception, I think I have traveled. I was conceived in Norfolk, Virginia, born in Phoenix, Arizona. and. As a child, I traveled around the world with my family because my father was in the military. I can remember thinking, when I leave home, I'm never traveling. Well, I left home at 16 and I never stopped traveling. Because, and why did I travel so much? Um, because I was looking for the rule book. Anybody out there ever look for the rule book? I, my whole entire life, since my earliest memory, four or five, I can't remember when, it was like, you know what? Someone out there's got the answer, and it sure isn't me. I must have been hiding in the closet when they passed out the rule book, How to Do Life, because I do not get it, How to Do Life. So I didn't learn it at home. I left at 16 to search, find the answer. And a um, little bit about growing up uh, and the pain I went through, uh, and that's because that's part of why I'm doing this show. Because I'm thinking that if I had this kind of life, which looked perfect on the outside, but I had this raging maniac person living inside of me that maybe there's someone else out there just like that. And I've found a lot of answers for myself. And I've found a place of peace. I used to be an angry person 24-7. And now I get angry now and then, but I'm not an angry person anymore. I've found a way to live with myself in peace and joy. But it wasn't always like that. From my earliest memory, I was angry and confused about life. And there was a um, good amount of abuse in my family, um, which is, I'm not going to talk about it today, but at some point I will share with you. So if you come back for future episodes to hear about the, the racy stories in my childhood, they're good. But it, it caused me to think that um, something was wrong with me, uh, that I seemed different from the whole rest of the world. You know, it's like when the whole world was laughing, I was crying. When I was crying, they were laughing. Like I was a brown shoe in a world of black tuxedos. You know, nothing ever fit. Nothing ever quite fit. I was a bright child, though. I learned to read when I was two. I was reading encyclopedias and dictionaries for entertainment when I was four, five. That's, I just was very quiet. I listened to music and read books and read the dictionary. I started school when I was four. And... Um, And that's it. I was a perfect child. So my life was this perfect life on the outside. My, my mother always made sure we looked, we were dressed fine. We, I had everything that money could buy, actually, and I had everything that little girls are supposed to have. I had piano lessons. I had dance lessons. I was a straight-A student. I was a campfire girl. I went to church. I just, our life was perfect on the outside. And inside, it was behind closed doors, the life that many people out there have had, the life that you're not supposed to tell anybody about. You know, my, from the, an early, my earliest memory, whenever my father was home, he, until I left home at 16, he took all my clothes off almost every day and beat me with a belt. And so that's the kind of rage that I grew up with. He was raging, I was raging, but the world saw us as, and all the pictures of my family when I look back, we all had the perfect smiles. We were the perfect all-American family. So my father was an officer and a gentleman, and my mother was president of the PTA, and everything was perfect. And I was dying inside. Please, somebody tell me where the rule book is. 
that's why I'm having this podcast because I found the rule book I found how to do this life and on the way to finding the rule book I after I left home at 16 I traveled around the world uh, with a bottle of tequila looking for a for someone or something to fix me you know I traveled a lot I had 28 jobs and in, in five states in 11 years I uh, was chased by the police in uh, five countries rested in a communist country ended up on a park bench no longer able to comprehend the printed word eating out of uh, garbage cans no longer bathing because I just was tired so so tired for looking for the answers so that's what we're going to do in this podcast and other podcasts is talk about those answers and, and my favorite topic is the anger one anger 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 so when everything looks nice on the outside I don't know about any of you but do you have that perfect life on the outside did you please your mom and dad by becoming successful you're a successful lawyer or a, a doctor or a t teacher maybe or whatever you've become successful and you have the family and you have the white picket fence and everything looks good in your life and people tell you how lucky you are to have this magical life but inside you're dying somewhere in there is a very angry little boy or little girl that just wants to get out that's what this podcast is going to be about I'm going to show you how the road back to yourself where the peace and the joy is so that'll do it for today thanks for joining us see you next time have you ever wanted to just know what to do? Like the rules of the game, so you felt you had a chance of winning in this game of life? Carol Davis can be your virtual navigator as she has traveled around the world and been at the lowest of lows. From living in a beautiful home to being a full-time resident on a park bench to a life that is full and rich and giving and peaceful. Join Carol, a published author, teacher, and in-demand public speaker. Welcome to The Carol Davis Show.